With the rollout of the purple lidded bin in West Lindsay, we just had a few questions about what goes in each bin. So Rachel's here from Lincolnshire County Council. She's just going to clarify what goes in each of your recycling bins now. OK, so with the rollout of the, the, the new paper and card collections, as it says on the bin, we're looking for only dry paper and cardboard, please. Everybody should have had a guide, a right thing in the right bin guide, which tells you, based on the colour of the bins, what goes in. So in your paper and card bin, we are looking for your cardboard. Don't put your boxes in whole, rip them up where possible. Take off as much tape as possible, but if you've got a little bit of tape on, that's not a problem, so that goes in. Food packaging boxes again, squash them down, flatten them. These little plastic windows, the same go for plastic windows in envelopes you get. They're okay, they can stay on and go in. Things like any junk mail leaflets that come in through the post, boxes from cleaning products. Again, when you squash them, you create yourself lots of extra room doing that. So cereal boxes, packaging, that sort of thing that you might get. Any magazines, they're all fine. They can go in newspapers, so clean and dry. Pop those in as loose. The insides of toilet rolls, again, all those sort of things. They're what we are after in this bin, please. Typically what we, we get asked a lot about is pizza boxes. If you buy a pizza that you're going to cook at home and you get that package in, completely fine. There's no food waste on those at all. The biggest, biggest issue that we find is from takeaway boxes going in there. So it'll say on the back of here somewhere with a little symbol, I'm made from recyclable material or I am recyclable. And until such time as the food's been in them, that's great. But sometimes people leave us bits of food in, which we really, really don't want and the grease on here has now damaged those fibres. So we cannot take takeaway pizza, takeaway food boxes of any description. Some people say, well, I'll just rip the lid off. The bin men collect nearly 2,000 bins a day. They're unable to tell if you've just ripped the lid off. So we ask you please to put your takeaway cartons into your black bin. The contents of your black bin are sent off to our energy from waste plant at North Highcombe. We incinerate those and we use the, the material that we send there to create create electricity so we're not landfilling those bins so please anything that has got any food waste on don't put into your purple bin and the other things are use tissues or kitchen roll the fibers are far too flimsy for us to recycle so again please no tissues no kitchen roll in there they go in the black bin as well if in doubt look on your right thing right bin leaflet or refer to West Lindsay's website and there's a, a long list on there of what does and doesn't go in the purple bins so I know in my purple bin only dry paper and cardboard, but what can go in my blue bin? Okay, so the contents of your blue bin, apart from paper and card, haven't changed. But what we haven't done is remind people recently what can go in. So this is your definitive list, if you like. Any plastic bottles, okay, so milk bottles, that sort of thing. Again, if you squash those down, you create some more room. You don't need to take the plastic tags off. So plastic bottles, okay, so pop bottles, water bottles, all those sorts of things go in. As I say, if you, if you squash them like that, you create yourself quite a lot more room as well. So your food trays, a quick rinse with those as well. So that one's had meat and the likes in. That one's obviously had some sort of cakes or tarts. So again, no food waste on them. They would like, would like those. Clean ice cream tubs or uh, clean takeaway containers if you're giving them a rinse. They're brilliant. Pop those in as well. Yogurt pots, that sort of thing. Tin cans. So you know, from your beans or your spaghetti or your soup, tin foods and drink cans. So again, give those a quick squash down to create some room. We ask them to be clean. So what we don't want is a whole pile of food waste. What I don't need people to do is put them through the dishwasher and sterilise them. So long as they're, they're rinsed and we've got the majority of the, the food waste out, they go in. Glass, so glass bottles and jars. Again, people ask us about the lids. Preferably take the lids off. Those lids are acceptable anyway, but they can go in. And the same goes for bottle tops. We'll take those, those sorts of metal in there as well. Your cleaning product bottles. Again, those once they're empty can go in. Don't need to take the labels off those. We can manage with those. Um, and actually when you've had cleaning products, it's probably best just to leave those on because therefore you're not getting any sort of liquids or chemicals on you. So all those sort of things. And the other thing that goes in are what we call Tetra Pack. So you might've had orange juice or this one's had tomato passata in it. Again, quick rinse through it so that you've not got all the food contents left. And these go in the blue bins, not in the purple bins, okay? People do sometimes confuse it because the outside looks like cardboard. These are called Tetra Pack and these are acceptable in here. The biggest item that we are still seeing in these is plastic bags or soft plastic and film. So things like this, plastic packaging, okay? And sometimes 
you might find a symbol on it and you think oh is that recyclable i'll give it a go some places in the country you can very few all of the major supermarkets will take back thin or soft plastics if it scrunches it's film it's plastic if it scrunches like that we cannot accept it the same with your carrier bags so either pop those into your black bin and as i say they're incinerated at the energy from waste or take them to the local supermarket the local co-op all the shops have now got collection points they will collect them on bulk and deal with them we cannot recycle them so bin bags the lot not in your blue bin please so again into the black bin for those chris we've actually been in the last couple of weeks um, and we'll, we'll carry on doing this for another few weeks yet, putting what we call advisory tags on. These are not tags of shame. Just be clear about that, they've, they've been called that. They're not tags of shame, they're advisory. We're letting residents know what can and can't go in. So if you've had one of these, it'll be for advice in the short term, it'll be ticked to tell you what can't go in there. It's all in your leaflet, which you've either had or can get on the website um, and just follow the advice on those. These aren't recyclable unfortunately and again we've been asked about that haven't we quite a lot they're not recyclable because they needed to be weatherproof because despite the fact today is sunny they needed to be weatherproof um however pop those into your black bin as i say we're not landfilling them we are using them purely for electricity the contents of that so pop those in once you've read it and understand it into the black bin for us as well please And what if there's anything else I'm unsure about what bin it goes if there's in? Anything else you're unsure about, check the website, check your leaflet. If you can't find out from one of those sources, please pop it into your black bin. As I say, one of the other big myths, people say it's landfill. We send everything to landfill and it's bad. We do not landfill the contents of your black bin. I can't say it enough. There's a, a, a big energy from waste plant at North Highcombe. All of Lincolnshire's general waste goes there. We power about 30,000 homes a year with the electricity that's generated from the waste that we send there. So please, if in doubt, pop it into your black bin and everything else is on the right thing, right bin leaflet. So are there some things that can't go in any of my bins at home? There are, and it's not that they're not recyclable somewhere, but at home there are certain items that are in your leaflet that we can't accept. Typically, electrical items, so batteries, old plugs and cables, old small electrical items. Now, these have a tendency to cause fires, be that in the refuse collection vehicles at our transfer stations, and it's because when it's all pushed together, potentially they might split, they might hit against something that sparks, they cause a fire. So please, please, please do not try and dispose of these in any of your bins at home. It's very clear on our leaflet um, that we don't want batteries, electrical items, hot ashes. So either if you've had a, a coal fire at home, people sometimes bag them and put them in when they're still warm or disposable barbecues and things like that. We even find people trying to put gas cylinders in for that very reason that whether in the back of the vehicle or tipped on our transfer station floor, they do cause fires and we need to try and minimise that. You can take batteries back to any big shop that sells batteries. They, they're required to have a battery collection point. You might not notice it, but actually normally by the door of a supermarket, you'll find a tube and you can just pop those in. Alternatively, any of our 11 household waste recycling centres across the county have all got specialist containers for electrical items and batteries. Save them up, take them in there, please dispose of them that way. But we do need to try and keep the crew members, the householders, the residents safe. So no electrical items, no hot ashes, nothing that's hazardous in any of your bins at home, please. Helps us all to stay safe.